Martin. Man, it's just so beautiful here. Just pulled out at 6 in the morning, discovering this island over there. Probably you cannot see it now because of the sun. It's really amazing. Well, I finished the weekend from Bangkok yesterday and I'm kind of in the mood to continue making videos. By the way, I now want to upload regularly, once a week. I'm sure I will do it. Yeah, and today I'm going to discover the island a bit. I haven't done that. I'm here since two days, but I had to relax after being in Bangkok, making a diving license and obviously being on full moon party, which was quite bad. Yeah. And by the way, so far I've traveled with somebody, but I decided it's nothing for me, so... Do this trip by myself. It was all right with her, but I think like I'm always just having so spontaneously, and it just didn't work out the way we developed the school. She's all right. I'm fine also. Let's go, baby. He's catching nothing. Krabby is hiding. Yeah, I actually have no idea for the next video yet. I finished the Bangkok video yesterday and wanted to try, my, try maybe a vlogging kind of style while well, I discovered the island by scooter today. Yeah, I'll take you with me and maybe talk about what's coming to my mind throughout the day. And yeah, you know, I can already tell that I feel so honored to be here for dating. I want to express my appreciation for everyone that has helped me, encouraged me to do that, also encouraged me to do this YouTube, it's really fun. Uh, I'm actually thinking at Lila and Denise, Tobias, all of my good friends out there. Now I'm just living the dream and I can only encourage you to chase your dreams if you have any. You should have some. Isn't that small shell amazing? So I'm heading back now to the hotel, grabbing some food and taking the scooter and go to explore the island. Just got out Thank you Sonia for having made those straps here in a really safe place. Where will you be? Flickering through memories, the Polaroids yellowed in the sun, longing to be seen. So come and hide.
it's our first stop here. It's called Gecko Bar and it's really worth a visit if you are here once. It's beautiful, really. And yeah, our first stop of the day. back at the beach where we started out this morning. I came here because I wanted to go over there where the waves break, where the boat is currently, but it gets too rocky here and I'm afraid to hurt my feet. So I'll head back to the beach soon and wait for the sunset. As you have noticed, I haven't talked much to the camera throughout the day. I feel like it's not my to talk and comment on what I'm doing while people So, out here it's a different story though, I watched the footage and I liked it. Throughout the day someone wrote me a message saying, man, you have such a great life though, and you must be so happy. And thank you, I'm really happy now. But it made me think also about what makes people happy and if traveling makes me a more happy person. And like to answer that, it reminded me a study that I have read, which is from the 70s, that study compared accident victims with lottery winners and obviously there was a dramatic spike of happiness for the people who won the lottery and the happiness level of the people who had an awful accident obviously plummeted but after a while people reached the base level of happiness so now to where they have been before the concept is called so what can we learn from this study myself I would say that external stimuli is not going to make us happy permanently and long-lasting contentness has to come from inside. And I think this is such an important thought that people that people for, forget. Like we as human beings I found emotional work to do in order to be happy and we need to do that permanently. So the physical location or if you're travel, traveling or not is completely irrelevant in my opinion. So if you have anxiety or you're unhappy with your job, traveling is not going to fix it for you. It's because of something that is within you. It takes time and effort, awareness to get into a better position. What traveling can do though I have learned uh, on my so far short trip is it can provide us with experience that can cultivate, a, can cultivate deeper thoughts or a deeper understanding of self and maybe change the way we view the world and our role within it. But what I want to say is that traveling won't provide us with long lasting contentness. Traveling is really amazing. Yeah, long lasting contentness has to come from inside. And for now, I would say enough deep talk. It was fun though. And I'm heading back to the beach. The next time you will hear from me, I will be in Khao Sok. It's a national park in the south. I'm looking forward to see it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And now let's watch the sunset together.